If you want to learn how you can airbrush this pumpkin, be sure to follow the rest of the video and find out. So for this illustration, I start off with a rough pencil outline as uh, kind of my guide. Honestly, I probably should have just made a stencil like I showed in my previous video, which would have made my overall lines a lot more crisp, but it's okay. Uh, so once I had my illustration kind of roughed out on paper, I traced my lines with my airbrush um, using the same tone to kind of map out or just uh, give the overall skin tone and going over different areas uh, multiple times to make it darker. Um, when I do want to add a darker tone, I added a little bit of black and as well as a little bit of moss green to kind of give it just like a weird color and darken it up um, just to add to the hue, you know. Um, for the background, I kind of darkened it up overall and I did kind of go a little heavy on some of the shadows. So I ended up using a little bit of white to bring back some of the highlights um, to make things glow or give it like a neon effect. You can go over an area with white and then the color that you want and then go back over the same area with a more narrow line in white again and it will make it look like it's glowing. So I use that to kind of make the eyes pop as well as the smoke. But I didn't really put too much effort into the smoke on this one. Uh, I would, I probably will go back and just add a little bit more to it. And I'm because I am painting on paper, it started warping a little bit, so I was having a little trouble holding it down and getting the uh, right forms that I wanted. I didn't quite blend my uh, paints as much as I should have, so it kind of got out of hand in some areas there, but it's okay. Um, and I had a white border, again, just to make this illustration stand out a little bit. Uh, but I think you can follow enough of what I'm doing here to kind of help out. So you should start off with like a square, like a rectangle shape and kind of round off the edges and then gradually build out your form. If you do want to draw a pumpkin, uh, if not, you can always use the same kind of technique to draw whatever kind of face you want. Um, I had been drawing like a lot of skulls and other random things as I approached Halloween. So uh, this does have some of those kind of features in this illustration too. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? What should I draw next? What would you like to learn? Anyway, be sure to like, subscribe, and follow, and I will talk to you guys soon.